Welcome to FAL Academy. Nano Banana 2 just dropped on FAL, and in this video we'll be going through why it's such a powerful model with examples at every step. Jumping straight in, we're now on the FAL AI Sandbox page. Now this page is great for exploring different models, but it's also very good for testing a single model. So the first thing we'll do is we'll switch from text to image to edit multi-images. Now this is just all of the models that can take in multiple reference images. So we'll get rid of all the other ones and only keep Nano Banana 2 or Nano Banana Pro. And for the first example, I want to show you a style transfer because Nano Banana Pro is insanely good at this. So let's add this iconic image from the DBZ series. And for the prompt, I'll just say transform this scene from anime to photorealism. Now I'll make sure that the aspect ratio is 16 by 9 down here. And I will run this four times for four different results. So let's run and see how it does. So after about 20 seconds, all of the results are in and we can have a look at them. So you can see that it's kept every single character very consistent. The background's also consistent, and the style itself just looks awesome. Here are a few more style transfer examples. So in this one, we took the this is fine meme, and with a very simple prompt of make it Lego, here's the result. This next one I found really cool. So I took a screenshot of FAL's explore page, and I said, create a 90s version of the FAL website. And then it gave me this, complete with its retro nostalgic feel. Final example, as I was recording this video, this was my original thumbnail and I thought to myself, maybe Nano Banana Pro can actually make this look nicer. So I gave it this image and I said, make this thumbnail more engaging and I got this. I actually ended up using this as my thumbnail for this video and at least for me, it's the first time that a model's been good enough to do this. So now back on the sandbox page, I also wanted to show how good Nano Banana Pro is at product photography. So I'm going to do this. I'll add the images of a woman and a perfume. So this woman, and she's going to be posing with this perfume here. And then for the prompt, I'm just going to say the woman is posing in a professional photo shoot with a Giorgio Armani perfume, close shot of the perfume. And I've set it to run four times with a 16 by nine aspect ratio. So let's see how it does. So the results are in and let's have a look. So it's done the text very well. In this one, it's turned the top blue for some reason, but in all the other ones, it's performed very, very well. And this looks like a professional photo shoot. For this simple example, I just added this one image of these Nike sneakers and the prompt is just realistic photo shoot of the sneakers in a dark urban environment. And it's carried it out flawlessly. It's kept the sneakers exactly as they are. And the scene also looks amazing. In this set of generations, I just replaced dark urban environment with unexpected environment. And it's given me these beautiful images of the sneakers in a jungle. If you're using Nano Banana Pro, I would highly recommend trying some generations with very general prompts because the model is so intelligent that it can come up with great ideas. Now, Nano Banana Pro is also insanely good at generating consistent scenes and characters. So let me walk you through what you're seeing here. For these four images, I used Nano Banana Pro Texter Image with a prompt, a dark scene from an anime featuring the main character. And the one I liked the most was this one here on the top right. So now I've used this as the input image to Nano Banana Pro Edit. And I've used the prompt, create a storyboard of this scene with four panels. Another character enters and it gets intense. And I've changed the aspect ratio here to 9 by 16 because I found that this works better if it's vertical. And then we'll run this and see how it does. Okay, so the results are here and I must say they are looking insanely nice. So first one of the character by himself, another one appears in this alleyway, threatens the main character and they get into a fight. For the other one, it's similar except this guy has a lightning blade. For this one, they've added a very different style, but it still works pretty well. And for this one, it's actually split the panels differently, but the scene still makes sense. Now, the really cool thing about this is that you can actually take each individual image, run them through a model like VO 3.1 image to video, and then combine them together, and you have a full video of this scene carried out with audio. Before we move on to Nano Banana Pro text to image, I really wanted to show one example that highlights the model's intelligence and reasoning capabilities. So in this example, we've given it this image of a calculus question with three parts, and we've said in the prompt, write the answers to the questions in pencil. Write it as a messy, rushed high schooler would on a test, but all the answers should be correct. Show your work. And then it's given us this, a perfectly worked out image of the answers for all three parts. That's insane. Moving on to Nano Banana Pro text to image, this can also do some crazy things. So for the first example, I'm going to use this prompt. The prompt is create a beautiful infographic of the lifestyle of a star. Describe each stage in detailed text. And then we'll run this. Okay, so the results are in and it's actually mind blowing. So if we go into one of them, we can have a look here. So all the way from nebula to protostar to main sequence to red giant, and then either a white dwarf or a neutron star or black hole. That is insane that it's able to do this. And as far as I can see, there are no mistakes in the text. I think this just shows how good Nano Banana Pro's reasoning is, its text generation, and also its understanding of structure. 
For the second example, let's generate a manga page. So I'll use this prompt here. Create a full solo leveling style manga page. And then I'll just run this. I think once again, the results really speak for themselves. There's so much complexity in these images and yet so few mistakes. So far, I've shown a lot of new capabilities that Nano Banana Pro has, but how does it do something which is more standard for AI image generation, like a cinematic shot, for example? So I'll test it out with this prompt. I've said, create an ultra cinematic photorealistic close-up of a sailor in the foggy seas. So let's see how it does. So results are in, and these are looking very, very nice. It almost looks like it's come straight out of some Hollywood movie. That's it for this video, thank you very much for watching. If you found the examples I showed interesting, then I would highly recommend you check out Nano Banana Pro on FAL, because the model is so powerful, I couldn't hope to show all that it can do in just one video. And I'm sure people will come up with a bunch of use cases that I never even imagined. Please leave any video ideas or questions you might have in the comments, and don't forget to check the description for the important links. For now, I'll catch you in the next one.